Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. We back. Different look. Yeah. We turned up. Let's go. Huh? All right. If it ain't official, I don't want it. That's what it is? Your hairline not official. Wow. That's why I don't want it, but I got it. <laughs> <laughs> we we here, boy. We, we acting up. This is 12. <laughs> We're turned up today. This is 12. Episode 12. We here. Uh, you know. Like yeah. We never left. We here, y'all. Welcome back. Act like we never left. Hey. How we doing? We're back for another one. This is episode 12, the Zen House Podcast. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. It's your boy, Dez Hines. It's your boy, A. Joe. And Ross B. R&B, uh, Ross B. I don't, I don't know what's up with this dude, why he keeps doing it, but That's I guess me, it's, it's his thing. Wait, what'd you say today? You said Dez Hines or Desmond Hines? I said Dez Hines, and, okay. I'm, and it won't ever mess up again. Okay. What's up? All right. So we're here. We're here for another episode, and today... We will be talking about legacy, what mm-hmm. what legacy means to us individually and as a whole, and what we want our legacy to be. Mm-hmm. So, um, first and foremost, what does legacy mean to you, Ross? I mean, should we give the definition first? Yeah, give, yeah, give, give people the people we, definition. Okay, so the definition of legacy is the long-lasting uh, impact over. P- Particular events, actions, etc., that took place in the past or a person's life, or it could just mean an amount of money or property left for someone uh, that you left behind for someone. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you think about that? Um, I think legacy for me, as an individual or for my family, is um, basically experience. Right? Like, I don't have legacy in my family, so. Um, in my mind and, and with my wife and with my um, with my new kid, Rory, is like I want to create something not just for us, but for her and her kids and her kids and her and her kids and so on and so forth. So like, you know, like and it ties into this. Part of the reason that I wanted to start this was to not just create business for business opportunities for us, but. Um, to show her that, you know, like, I can start something small, and over time, it's only going to get better. Mm -hmm. And over time, with experience, she's only going to learn, right? So, like, it's not really for me. It's really for her. And hopefully for my future son, you know, pray to God I have one. If not, I'm I'm blessed with whatever I have. Um, But it's a eventually and hopefully pass that down and pass that knowledge to them so that they could do the same thing for their kids and for their kids. And hopefully we get to a point where we can share it with our whole family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you, you said something about you don't have, your family doesn't have a legacy. Why do you think a lot in our community, we don't have legacy, Alex? Um, that's a that's a tough question because you have a combination of experience, like Ross said, and education, and understanding what's at stake. Most people, especially when it comes to the black culture, unfortunately, more so worry about the now, mm-hmm. not more so worry about the future. So, like Ross stated, he's doing things for his kids. I'm in the same boat. <clears throat> I see what my father did for us. He he basically created a legacy for us. Um, you know, he's got multiple properties. Now the goal is to understand the process of transferring it to the kids. And keeping those properties, And keeping right? those properties. The unfortunate thing, and not, you know, all Caribbeans or let alone just the black culture, but most of the time all you hear is, I'm going to sell this, get this 300 k and now your kids are stuck. Hmm. What the people they sell it to? Or the people they sell right? it to flip it. They flip they it. Get, and, and they hold trouble. on to it. They don't even leave. And that's how that legacy continues. And that's where, you know, that education comes in to understand what's at stake. And I don't think people understand that concept. And that's the frustrating part. Um, I'm currently going through that right now myself with my family, trying to teach my parents that. So my kids and my brother's kids have an opportunity to have an upper hand when they're our age. Yeah. 
Um, and what, the biggest thing was probably his <clears throat> lack of communication, right? So that you can understand how um, the passing down works. Yep. Cause it's not that you don't want to do it, but if you didn't understand and mm -hmm. if you didn't start investing your time into actually getting knowledge about how this works, we would have yep. sold it. Yep. You know what I mean? He, he started the first step for you. Yeah. Yeah. I think and that's how it works. I think our parents, well, my parents in particular, they showed me different tools that are needed to start our own and to build from there. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom and dad showed me, you know, uh, discipline and the work ethic needed to start to create your own legacy. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's very important. Um, a lot of people don't have the education, like for, for one, and high school, middle school, high school, college, they're not telling you how to buy homes, yep. how mm -hmm. to do your taxes, how to do different things like that. This stuff we never learn. These other people, you know, other cultures, they learn that stuff early. from early. Right. They from know how to invest. They know about saving and Roth people, IRAs, all of that stuff. Compound interest accounts. We don't know about that stuff. So I think that's the first step to creating your legacy. Get the knowledge. C continue learning. Don't think you know it all. Mm -hmm. Always learn and, and apply it and try to think. Don't think about yourself. Easily, you know, you come up on some land, someone passes away from from your family, your grandma passes away, she leaves you a house. Don't think, oh, I'm gonna sell this thing yeah. right. and that's, get that's not a how temporary three hundred thousand dollars. No, you keep that. If you don't want to live there, you rent it out, mm -hmm. and that money is gonna be coming in. And you got to think about your family. You got to think about your kids, unborn kids, your great grandchildren, and beyond. That's what you got to think about when you're making decisions. And that, think, that, think, that's think, perfect. Hold on, let me say something before I forget it, because you know all them concussions be kicking <laughs> in. Boy, that boy. Uh, he was but getting I ran was gonna, over. I was gonna, no, never that. He was getting trucked. Never that. Never that. Get that on cue. Never that. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, I see, I almost forgot. But I'm about to say. <laughs> but I'm about to say the theory. I, I I forgot where I saw this, but legacy is um, basically a man or someone planting a tree. Right. They're not going to be there forever for that tree, but that tree is going to create shade or create life, create oxygen for people when they're long gone. I'm going to have That's... to stop you real quick. I'm going to create this opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> gotta... Listen, legacy, because Cause I'm going to teach my kids this too after. Uh, thank you, Desmond. You got Appreciate you. it. Got you. Uh, we Continue here. Listen, this is, this is the season. Handy, the season. Boy. Come on, yo. This is the season. If you don't, Blistex, <laughs> Carmex. This pop, dude whoa. pop, but he pop top it. He pop. <laughs> whoa! Damn, that's stop another one. He I can't do popping. nothing, y'all. What is he doing? I Why can't do popping? nothing. He stop popping. <laughs> whoa! We on the I mean, south end. We are on the south end. We on the south end, y'all. This ain't Harper Point. <laughs> I've been trying to tell y'all for years. Legacy. But as I was saying, the man who plants the tree, it's not for him. It's for people after he's gone. That's legacy. That's the concept that people don't need, that they don't understand. Um, it's not for right now. No. Yeah. It lasts a very, very long time. Um, so when people think of legacy, when I think of legacy, that's exactly what I think about. It's like I'm, I'm doing something right now that's not for me. It is mm -hmm. for my kids' kids' kids. Yeah. Um, and so just like you were saying with different cultures, yep. some of these kids don't understand how good they got it because their right. parents already have them set up. Right. For things that, you know, I can say in the black culture, it's not normal. It's not, well, not it's, it's not clicking yet. Yeah, it doesn't click yet. But that's where, you know, that needs to be broad, broadcast a little bit more. People are understanding, like, okay, for right now, I'm not going to put that $400 in these J's that I got on StockX. Mm -hmm. They don't, they don't I'm use StockX anymore. They do uh, well, gold now. I'm sorry. It's all the same. It's just, I'm, I know, but. But you know, yes, right. okay. But I'm not putting $400 on these J's. I'm going to put $400 in this. Roth IRA, mm -hmm. or I'm gonna put 400 in this compound interest account, which is gonna increase every time I deposit something. People don't understand that. That's that's what people need to start understanding, and that's gonna create longevity because now instead of you going, being, if you start this at eight years old, right? By the time you're 18, that's a lot of money in that account. Right? Yeah. If you put, if you're mowing lawns, whatever, whatever cash you get put in there, by the time you're 18, that's a lot. 
But now if you buying J's, now you got you holding. Yeah. Right. So that is just something like that. Teaching your kids kids stuff like that. Right. So my next question <clears throat> is, all right, so we, we agreed that education and knowledge is a big part of going into what you want your legacy to be be. What else do you think is needed to create the legacy for you and your family and um, what else th- goes into I, it? I think friendship, um, friendship with a lot of people. Um, don't just don't just hold yourself like I tell my athletes all the time, right? Like especially if they're more on the like shy side or non-social side. Even my wife, I'm like, yo, get out. Mm-hmm. Just just talk to people. You never know when you may need someone, right? Like that's that's the thing about creating a legacy or a relationship. Relationship is legacy. Right, because with a lot of things, I mean, a lot of things that we did here, like we we knew and connected with someone who was able to help us. Yeah. Um, and that's gonna that's gonna tie into when we start getting, you know, a lot more properties. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, like we're not always gonna be there, but you know, if there's someone who's looking out for you, that's a good person, then that relationship will carry over to your kids' kids and et cetera, et cetera, because who knows, like, one of my kids might marry your kid or might marry Alex's kid, and well, that's how well, legacy continues. Like, gross. Well, they won't. I ain't well, paying for that Hey, I'm, I'm just saying. talking about? I'm just He's saying. Broke. broke, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, to, that's growth. And to piggyback off of that, I think culture is uh, uh, very important. Just think if I have a legacy, but I did it a certain way, we did it a certain way, we did it the right way, righteous, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and... We keep God first. You want to build that into your legacy. Right. You don't want people taking over. Well, not people, your family or the people you passed it on to, to go about business in a dirty way or they, right, right. You know, they don't have the right things in mind. Um, so but I that's think, what you got to continue to teach. Got to teach. Like having young kids doesn't mean you don't teach them about, you know, saving. Right. Like my oldest is three years old and she's got more money put away right now in her little piggy bank than I can think about when I was that age, let alone at 10 years old. So teaching her the importance of like, now she has a dollar, she's like, can I put it in my piggy bank? Right. That's her first thought process now, hmm. rather than, rather than can I go get candy? Yeah. Right. And it's little things like that. Cause when I was a kid, I was thinking candy. I was at the corner store getting, you know, hence, at the time. You're, make, teeth, you're making the right choices. Listen, you're make, listen, making the right choices. Are great, all right? Hmm. See? Can you zoom in on that? Nah, I don't need to zoom in on nothing. That's what I thought. <laughs> zero cavities, zero braces. All right? True. You? I never had braces. What I about never cavities? Had. Never had a cavity. Damn. Me neither, yo. Right. I don't, I don't know who he think he's talking yeah, to. Yeah, I, I thought I was talking to some strangers. Come uh, on. But listen, great teeth up here. He thought he was talking to DP probably. Oh, huh? my gosh. Oh, my gosh, hey, DP. Dog. <laughs> Sorry, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to DP. Oh, man. But yeah, man, this is episode 12. We're discussing legacy, and we just wanted to drop a few gems on what legacy means to us yes, and yes, when, what we want to continue to do. And this, what we're doing right now, is a part of our legacy, the Zen House podcast. Absolutely. And we hope you learned something. And I keep Can watching. I say one more thing? Keep tuning in. I'm going to let you finish. No, nah, I'm, I'm done. Pull, I'm going to pull a Kanye. Take care of your body. Oh my gosh! All right, I'm take going care going. of your body. Where are we going? Your health. I mean, is this your is wealth. a part of your legacy this, too. Ah, that okay. is. Okay. Make sure. That's why I had to finish. I'm gonna finish right, off go with ahead, that part. Off. Take care talk, of your body. Talk, all right. Talk, talk, talk Don't your wait talk. last minute till you find out from the doctor that you this sick. could have been prevented if mm. you just did a workout. Mm. All the average person needs is 30 minutes a day. Mm. That's it. 30 minutes. It don't have to be fact. nothing crazy. It don't have to be nothing crazy. You just got to move. You want to increase your heart rate. That's okay. And guess what? Hold Push on, ups. I got something. Okay, go ahead. Yes, somebody else going off. It ain't just me. Athletes, your season starts March. Don't come to me mm. in February talking about, <laughs> I got to get ready. Mm. No, it's, it's too over. Late. Don't come. We can't save you. Yeah. That's all I got because I'm sick of it. Well, we might as well go all go off. Ross, Ross. go ahead. Yo, I, I, I second both of y'all. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. Episode 12, we out. We signing out. Paid.